Hello Team Lily. I miss doing these videos and I want to do one again today and I hope that you will enjoy the video. If you are new to my space, welcome. My name is Lillian. So if you are returning, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. Today I'm taking us to Kumasi to go take a look at the prestigious Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology campus and take a look and see what I am talking about. For me, as a lover of nature, this school, this school really, I don't know if you are new to Ghana, if you are not in Ghana or, you know, you've never been to Ghana or you've been to Ghana before, but you don't know how the campuses here looks like, comment down below because I'm taking you. Let me know if this actually meets your expectation or not. First, I hope you're subscribed. If you have not, kindly hit the subscription button. Ensure you own the bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will get notified. So today I'm taking us to Kumar see to go take a look at this beautiful campus here in Ghana. I'm doing this video for those that are lover of nature. I'm doing this video especially for people that have never been to Ghana before or you've been to Ghana before but you've not really visited any of the unis in Ghana. And another reason is because I've always stated that health, education and the security sector in Ghana remains my favorite for now until I get to know more. So this uni is one of the universities that I have visited and I love this so much. I fell in love with it the first day I got there. And I have been to University of first before I visited Kumasi. I was in Cape Coast and I thought I've seen it all. But a lot of people were telling me, oh, try and visit um, KNUST. Get, try and visit KNUST. And then finally when I did, this is what I saw. This was what my eyes behold. Now let's behold it together and I will be back. Ich führe dich aus dem Nebel heraus. Wieder zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. Was du noch nicht kennst Schau dich in Ruhe um, du musst nicht rennen Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm, halt dich an mir fest is something else and the good thing today is that i'm not doing this with a mobile phone and in my own video when i went to this campus i was privileged to have a tour of one of the hostess one of the students who was so kind to have you know someone invited me to her room and i was like really is this where students are staying anyways that is that for me as a lover of nature the unis in Ghana, if you ask my opinion, that is why even the private schools in Ghana are standing out. Because imagine that a government school is like this. So as a private school, what are you coming, what, what are you bringing to the table? And this is why I, I love this sector so much because the competition there is so healthy, just like health. 
it is a case of go big or go hungry or go home or don't even start because already the government have put everything in place what are you what are you bringing to the table if you don't do it so big and big that even at that, we still can't meet up with the, that of the government. But what I didn't see that the, I visited this uni is that I didn't know that they have buses specially designed and made available for disabled students. Really? Ghana? Zurück nach Haus, yeah. Ah, now wow. As a parent of a child with disabilities, when I see something like this, it gives me hope. Because dealing with disability in Africa is something that leaves you exhausted, like it will exhaust you. So looking at this gives me a sign of, like, this is hope. This is good. Now we're going to go back to the school and do random tour, like everywhere and everything we can find. Zurück nach Haus, yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. Schau dich in Ruhe um, du musst nicht rennen Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Now, Looking at this campus will just give you an idea of why the education tourism is doing very well in Ghana. Like this is something that the Ghanaian government have been doing way before I was born and they are good at it. Education tourism in Ghana have been going good. And now I totally understand why some people from Nigeria has their kids here. Because your child is here, you're not worried about their safety. You're not worried about their, um, you're not worried about the environment. The only thing you should be worried about is the money. Because of course it doesn't come cheap. And if you have a child schooling in Ghana, I kind of feel like you are just so amazing because that means a lot of sacrifice. But I think parents knows what they are doing. They give all they have to get the best for their kids. So one thing I would like to educate people from the little that I know today is that when you want to school in Ghana as an international student, yes, they will tell you the amount you are going to pay other for anything they will tell it to you in dollars that is because you're an international student however payments is made in the local currency payment is made in the local currency the reason they are telling you in dollars is because they don't know if you understand cities in your own currency to to be able to help you get the, to help you get your calculations right so if they tells you five thousand dollars it not, it's not necessary that you're going to pay that monies in dollars, all right? It doesn't happen like that. But, and another thing, and the truth is, this is actually a very good thing because they tell you $5,000, come back in five years time. 
the amount is still five thousand dollars just that due to the exchange rates the amount may have gone up or go down which is not possible go down okay has gone up 10 years time they are still telling you five thousand dollars the only difference is the money has gone up due to exchange rates so in ghana they tell you five thousand dollars when you hear that don't be afraid it is the former five thousand dollars that a lot of people were paying way before some of us were born all right so if you want to school in ghana let me know seriously the amount of work <laughs> the amount of work the government of ghana invests in education and health is just totally something commendable i mean like look at the hostess and just basic just look at everything the environment if you take a look at international student hostess alone for me i felt like it's like what is this where students are sleeping i reacted to one of the videos here of i reacted to a video of hostel here in this particular school where students even have elevators to their rooms i know it doesn't come cheap but for me as a parent if i can afford it i don't mind because i mean you are giving all of this to your child and you are going to sleep with your eyes closed knowing that your child is doing just amazing the certificate is respected and so many things so so many things i love this sector and also love the health and it's not just restricted to unis in ghana the primary schools i mean i don't i won't be saying much on the primary school because i feel like i've not really seen that primary school that stand out for me that's okay is exceptional but i've seen so many senior high schools that i'm like really is this a secondary school in ghana and i can't wait to do these videos but for today this is all i have for you and i hope that you enjoyed it and you subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye